Hello! Today I'd like to show you another idea of something you might like to do with some 5 inch squares. So I've done a pattern here that I've called two colours because I have made it in two colours. Well, strictly speaking, black and white aren't colours apparently, but on the pattern it's shown in black and white, but I've also made it in some other colours. And I'm just going to show you today not so much two colours, but I've used one fabric constantly throughout, which is this dot that I've got here. And, and I've picked out the colours within that dot to use for my other squares that are going to go in with it. So we're going to um, cut, so to do this we need to cut the squares in half. So the strips are two and a half inches wide by five inches long cut. So if you start with some five inch squares it makes it pretty easy. Um, so I'm just going to cut these in half. I've got a little stack of them here all lined up using some of the colours that are in that fabric there. I thought that would be quite a nice way to do something. So I've cut those in half and all I need to do now is sew them together with another colour and then join them all up. So I'll just quickly run some of these through so that you can see what I'm doing. Just using your quarter inch seam allowance. Quite nice these uh, rich colours. I love this with with the black behind those dots, and I found these delicious looking marbled fabrics in just the right colours. So this is a this would be a fairly quick and easy quilt. You don't of course have to do it in just um, two colours or anything like that. You can do it in any number of colours. Just use a multiple lot of different 5 inch squares. But I, I quite like the contrast that it was giving and particularly with these delicious colours. So I've got all those joined up now and now I'm going to join them together into pairs. So rather than uh, messing around too much with great long bits and pieces so I'm just so I'm alternating my dotty fabric with my marbles, and you can just make a nice long row like this. If you keep joining pairs like this, they get bigger and bigger, or longer and longer. And now I can join my next join, so that's the pair that I've been doing there, that can go to that, and we've just about got a strip done already. So you can see it's pretty quick. You don't always have to rush everything though. But this was just an idea, I, I just saw this dotty fabric and I thought, oh, that would just look so delicious with alternating with those colours that are in it. So I'll just grab the iron and I'll give that a quick press. And if you if you press, if you make a strip this long, I've already made a couple of strips here, so that you've got two strips. If you always press them the same way, starting at the same end and pressing the seams the same way, we're going to actually turn them around so that they alternate. The seams will always be going the right way for, for when you want to sew them together because you've started off the same way and you turn it up the other way. I hope that made sense. Um, so I'm going to start here because that's where I started on the coloured end on the others. And I'm just lifting that up and letting that seam flop over as I get to it with the iron. I find that works really well. Just gently. You don't get the little pleats and tucks that you can get if you iron from the other side sometimes. So it's looking pretty good already. So this was really just a little exercise in showing you how something even as simple as just half of a five inch square can look very effective. So I've made three rows exactly the, well, when I say exactly the same, they're the same in that the black is alternating. So if you put them like that, you could still, you could have the stripe going through and you'd have all these colors varying. But if you 
flip every other one around, you get this sort of checkerboardy thing going, which I think is really quite effective. I also thought it would be very effective um, just in a quilt as just, maybe I can do it this way because it might show up better, um, as just a long strip down a quilt rather than um, all over a quilt and then something either side to make it more like a panel. I thought that would be very effective as well. So really there's lots of little possibilities for those wonderful little five inch squares and I have made a quilt I'll quickly show you in quite different colours and it is in two colours. I've called the pattern two colours. It is available on my website on gourmetquilter.com and here I've made it in some really nice Japanese fabrics in the reds and blues which I thought was really um, quite scrumptious and that's all it is is the five inch squares cut in half and joined together alternating the colours and the fabrics are all a bit different um, but basically red and blue so that's the two colour so that was just another idea for the five inch squares thank you